Local 3 Sports with Jake Durant. Welcome to the fifth down. I'm Jake Durant. Tonight, our game of the week featured two heavyweights in the Big North Conference, Marquette hosting Sault Ste. Marie. This one had everything you could ask for and then some. Let's head to William R. Hart Stadium. Sault Ste. Marie came into this one at 3-1 on the season and looking to spoil Marquette's homecoming. But Marquette would strike first. First drive of the game, Marquette in Blue Devil territory. Jackson Jermu will hit Ford Richardson. Richardson going to make one defender miss. And he's gone racing down the sideline and taking it in for the 22-yard touchdown. Marquette goes up 7-0. We'll pick back up in the second quarter. Teams take turns exchanging turnovers. Tristan Walker going to hand it or take the handoff inside and he'll fight off a hit and he reaches across the goal line. Blue Devils tied the game up at seven. Now under a minute until halftime, Sault Ste. Marie punting deep in their own territory. When Jan Vandenen going to come flying in and he'll block the punt, setting Marquette up perfectly for them to finish the job on the very next play. Jermu going to take the read option and finds Jacob McPhee for six. And Marquette takes a big momentum swing into halftime. Now in the third quarter on a drive with some favorable field position, Tucker Welch will take the handoff inside and with some late help from Dason Smith who will pull him into the end zone. Marquette takes a 21-7 lead. Next drive, Blue Devils looking to get back in it. Callan Campbell will launch one deep, but the ball going to be picked off by Wyatt Lakenin and Marquette will take back over. Blue Devils unable to get anything else going on offense while big defense and special teams will help Marquette win our game of the week over Sault Ste. Marie 28 to 7. Right before the half and then a score. So that's huge, especially when they get the ball in the second half. So the kids responded, uh, you know, and did everything we asked. And uh, when that happens, can't be happier. You know, a lot of it we were keying all week is, is their run game. And, you know, our, our up front line and our linebackers really played well. The whole team played well. So, I mean, it, it's just a, an all around team effort. And when you get that, uh, good things happen. Let's go now to West Ishpeming. The Westwood Patriots hosting the Gladstone Braves. Gladstone le leading 13-0 in the first quarter and looking for more. Nate Young making some magic. He'll throw a dime to Caden Gibbs for the touchdown. Young made that throw look easy. Braves lead 20 to nothing. Second quarter, Gladstone with the football. Young going to hand it off to Eli Berthium. Berthium weaving his way through the Patriots defense. The result is another Braves touchdown. That'll make it 27 nothing Gladstone. Westwood trying to get something going, but Ethan Marta's pass going to be picked off by Evan Wolfler. And the junior defensive back will make a nice return. He's heading down the sidelines. He actually almost brings us back for six. But he's going to be tripped up near the 20-yard line deep into Westwood territory. That'll set up this score here by Gibbs. Gladstone, they top Westwood 49-8. to Gibbs had three touchdowns and a pick. And to top it off, today was his 18th birthday. Yeah, it's, it's a pretty good way to celebrate my 18th birthday. It feels, feels weird to have a game on my birthday, but I like it. It's, it's cool. Uh, and Nate was really on tonight, wasn't he? Oh, with the yes. Yes, he had some great passes all around, and even some runs where he had to roll out of the pocket. Just he had played an overall great game. This is, a, this is a good win for us. I mean, there's a few things I think we need to clean up, but we had Josh was out this week. He had an, a little injury, that, but he should be back next week. Hopefully, Tara's got nothing. Like, it ends up being nothing, and then we'll have Trevor back next week. So, overall, I think we'll be pretty good. Just clean some, some things up offensively and defensively, and we're going to bring it. Let's go now to Kingsford. The Flivers welcoming in the Calumet Copper Kings tonight. Second quarter, Kingsford up 13-0. The Flivers defense was disruptive in this one. Calumet driving, but a fumble here would lead to a scoop in score. And that's Gavin Trevelyan sprinting down the sidelines. He will run this back in for six. That would make it 19-0 Kingsford. In the third quarter now, the Kingsford defense still playing at a high level. And this play here by or will be blown up by Eliza and Rouse. Calumet losing a couple yards. Then Ted Locus going to be sacked here by Garrett Veal for the loss. And then Kingsford will again turn defense into offense as Trevelyan going to intercept this pass. And he's heading the other way for the pick six. Kingsford's defense shuts out Calumet. The Flivers win this one 41 to nothing. Moving on now, we make a stop in Iron Mountain. The Mountaineers playing host to West Iron County. We're going to start things off with the always exciting touchdown run from a few yards out, courtesy of Luke Wolf. That'll make it 7-0 Mountaineers. Iron Mountain was just getting started. The Jets will hand off the sweep to Matthew Kolovecki. He sidesteps a few defenders and finds a lane. That score will make it 14-0. 
A safety would make the score 16-0, and on the free kick, Kolovecki, he's going to break this game open with a big return. He tight ropes the sidelines, and he's into the end zone for the score. Iron Mountain, they win big over West Iron, 49 to nothing. Let's head to the Copper Country. The Houghton Gremlins playing host to the Red Hot Menominee Maroons. We're going to pick the game up early in the first quarter. No score. Maroons knocking on the door. The ball going to be handed off to Landon Bardowski. Bardowski will not be denied. He's into the end zone from a few yards out. Trevor Tarakoff would convert the two-point try to make it 8-0 Maroons. A bit later, Maroons back with the football. Tarakoff to his left. He's going to sh or show some nice touch on this throw, connecting with Aaron Brunel, who's tackled just inside the five-yard line. That would set up this on the very next play. Tarakoff to Eli Beal for the Maroons' second score of the night. That'll make it 16-0 Menominee. Then after a Houghton turnover, Menominee back on the attack. Tanner Tarakoff, he'll take the reverse handoff and break loose. This one was all Maroons. They top Houghton 56 to nothing. And we're going to finish up in Hancock where the Bulldogs took on the Nagani Miners. The visiting Miners up 35 to 10 and looking to add to that lead. Kyla Carr going to power his way in for the touchdown. The two-point try was good. It's 43-10 Miners. After stopping Hancock on fourth down, the Miners found themselves back in scoring position. And they keep it on the ground. This time it's Drew Jichimich. He's across the goal line. Nagani is rolling up 49 to 10. Hancock trying to cut into the lead, but the ball that was thrown into the end zone going to be picked off by Nick Grengs. And Nagani, they're going to go on to win this one 49 to 10. They've been in tight games the whole, the whole year so far, and I think the guy just really came really to, ready to play tonight, you know. And um, yeah, you know, Hancock, they're a young team for sure. Um, they, got some, they got some good kids, and uh, I thought we just played well tonight. Well, we feel great about every win you get, a, especially with the competition you play in the, uh, in the West Pack. Uh, you got to feel happy with every win you get. You know, it's good to see some, some guys that uh, um, were able to get on the field tonight that maybe didn't see a lot of action prior, uh, and they're just as much a part of this team as everybody else. So it was happy to see them have some success tonight as well. A few more scores to pass along from around the UP. Ishpeming beats Bark River Harris 46-8. Over in eight, man, this is a big one. North Central's historic 41-game win streak ends tonight at the hands of Lake Linn and Hubble 28-25. Norway continues their win streak in a 44-6 win over Bessemer. Munising falls in a close one to Indian River 26-24. Ontonagon beats Ironwood 33-8. Pickford takes down Rapid River 73-0. Newberry best superior central 48 to nothing.